place called heaven. Brethren, a lot of people will miss heaven because of lack of knowledge. We need the help from the Lord Holy Spirit. To Him be the praise. I welcome you to my time in heaven. I am a servant of the Most High God. The Lord Jesus Christ has called me and has shown me a lot of things in heaven. A very beautiful place called heaven. Heaven is so beautiful words fails to describe heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ does not want you to miss heaven. And he wants me to share what I have seen with you guys. I am so pleased and humbled to share this vision with you all. It is a privilege for me to have this visions, as well as the Lord Jesus Christ taking me to heaven time and time, and showing me a lot of things. I give all the glory, praise and honor to the Lord. The Lord has shown me the rapture so many times. The rapture will happen in our lifetime. No two ways about that. Ready or not Jesus is coming. We do not need to know the day or the hour of his coming. In the book of Mark chapter 13 verse 32, Jesus said, But of that day and that hour, no man knows, not the angels in heaven, not the Son, but the Father in heaven. My brethren, all the Lord Jesus Christ wants from you is for you to get ready of his coming. Do not worry about what day or what time he will be coming. Just get ready for his coming. My brothers and sisters, forgiveness is very important in our daily lives. I had a vision. And in this vision, I saw the Lord Jesus Christ coming with a lot of angels. The very moment I set my eyes on the Lord, I knew he is coming to rapture his children. Or his bride, the church. By then, I was outside, and I saw the heavens open. Then I saw the Lord Jesus Christ coming, sitting on a horse, and a lot of his angels are with him. They are all behind him. I was so excited to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, I knew that. This is it. We are going home. The rapture is here. I started praying and worshiping and thanking the Lord Jesus. I was so happy to see the Lord. Heaven is our final destination. Home sweet home. Heaven is too beautiful to miss. We must do our possible best to be able to make it to that celestial realm. Amen. Glory be to our Heavenly Father. So as I was worshipping and praising the Lord, then, Jesus and his angels came down from the sky. Then, Jesus came to me, where I was standing, so I said, Lord, I am so happy to see you. Jesus spoke this very words to me, my child, because you did not forgive this person. I tell you this, you will not see my glory. I started pleading and begging for forgiveness. Lord. I'm so sorry, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, please Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus lift me, and the vision was ended. This is what the Lord Jesus was taking about. One of my family's member did wrong to me, and my feelings was so hurt. All I could do is to pray for the Lord to forgive me if I have done anything wrong. But I knew this person was the one who is at fault. I was expecting this person to come to me and say, I am sorry to my face, and that will make me feel better. But that did not happen. I was still waiting for him or her to come and just say sorry. In my mind, I thought, I have forgiven this person already, because I prayed. But remember, the Lord God is all-knowing. I thought I have forgiven this person, but the Lord God sees the heart of man. Forgiveness is a very big deal in the eyes of the Lord. When we forgive others who have wronged us, then we are truly free. For forgiving someone benefit you. Amen. The Lord don't care about what that person did to you. But he only cares about you forgiving them their sins. What is forgiveness? In the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verses 14 to 15 and I read. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness no one will see the Lord. 15. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Amen. I was so happy when the Lord told me to share this vision. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for giving me another chance to repent and to be able to forgive this person. 
It is easy to say with our mouth that, I forgive you, but within our heart, we do not mind it. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10, And I read, I the Lord search the heart and examine the mind, to reward each person according to what their deeds deserve. As a child of God, whatever you do, your heavenly Father sees it and he is the one who will reward you, brethren. The Lord God cares about how we forgive others so much. Bitterness is not good for your body or your mind and your heart. Bitterness is poisonous and you can die with this bitterness. But when you die, remember, you will not go to heaven, but you will end up in hell again. Remember, the devil will not allow them to remember that they have wronged you and for them to come and apologize to you. The plans of the devil is that to make sure no one goes to heaven. In the book of Hosea chapter 4 verses 6 to 8 and the I read, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I also will reject you from being priest for me, because you have forgotten the law of your God. I also will forget your children. I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, they set their heart on their iniquity. Please brethren, forgive anyone that has wronged you, and you will see the glory of God in your lives. Finally after this vision was over, I called that person right away and said, I am so sorry for everything that I have done to you. It was not easy for me to call them, but I have to get rid of my pride that is in me and with the help of the Lord Holy Spirit. I was able to say, I am sorry, forgive me. I do not want to miss heaven in any way. In my Christian life, heaven is one of my first priority. Forgiveness is the key. Forgive anyone that have wronged you, then you will be free. This is funny, no one in their right mind will drink poison or eat poisonous food. So then, why do we give our heart to bitterness? Unforgiveness is like hay, poison in your heart. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31, and I read, Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Maybe, your father and mother, or your friends and your family members, have wronged you. Whatever happened to you, the Lord wants you to forgive them. In the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Jesus said, Come unto me. All you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He did not say, all who have a very weight burdened, or easy burdened, but those who have a heavy burdened. If forgiveness is easy, and it is not poison to your heart, the Lord will not as you to forgive. Anyone who, have wronged you, through the help of the Holy Spirit, you can do it. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ, for, forgiving me, and giving me, another opportunity. For me to repent, after the vision that was over, I was wondering why, Jesus said to me, because, you didn't forgive, you will not see my glory, way the Lord is saying my glory, instead of heaven. So I searched the scriptures, and the word of God, in the book of Psalm chapter 19 verse 1, and I read, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork, Amen. God richly bless you and keep you for you to obey his word today. Please, brethren, pray for the help from the Lord Holy Spirit so you can get rid of all the bitterness and to be able to forgive others. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for you to see more videos. God bless you. Shalom.